Yeah. Yeah. There's there's anthrax, um, but not like we're supposed to talk about it. But it's only for uh, certain kinds of animals and stuff. It's never been like cultured or. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you can't catch it. Yeah. And here's You can tell it's gotten warm in here over the years and things are... Climate change probably is... This is where they, they slept up here, in these rafters. At one point, that's how... So I was reading about that. Wow, those are small. Yeah. You climb up in there? I'm not sure. The heat rises, so... Oh, that the would smaller make sense. space, you stay warmer. With all the animals. A lot of cocoa was a staple of every expedition, man. You got your, your chocolate ration every day. That and rum. <laughs> but the worst thing to run out of wasn't food, it was tobacco. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine, yeah. <laughs> you, you read the journals, and once that ran out, man, people got undignified. Oh, it says Prescott and Art from the 1910s on the stock. It's lamp oil. Hot work. Oatmeal. It's oatmeal. I think there's there's some of their seal clubbing apparatus. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it came off the ship. See, they didn't have wood here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seal clubbing apparatus. Patent barley. Yeah. Potatoes, onions, pudding. onions. Yeah. Onions? Oh, uh, onions. Yeah. oh, it does look like onions. Oh, they are. See, somebody should do a genus of that instead of the whiskey. Infants' <laughs> food. <laughs> barley water and pudding. Babies. Sledging mutton. Special dog biscuits. More biscuits. Huntley Palmer's biscuits. Can't hold it. Is the cooking room? They actually, had a room for cooking. Yeah, yeah. This is the best part. This is the last meal right here. The last meal. Yeah, it's penguin. It's still on the stove. Ground mutton. Yes, and penguin feathers. So they specially made it just for the. Corvassier, that's what they're drinking. Yes! Corny Cognac. I knew I love this guy. Yep. Right here. Is it really a Corvassier? It says Corvassier Cognac. Oh my god, it does! Yeah. Uh, it's age six years, VVO. Right on. Yeah. That's some good stuff they were shipping to the Aged uh, 10 years at that point, so that was, geez, pretty old. 1900. <laughs> But yeah, this is, you can even see the penguin still, right in there.
I'm gonna wait for you to move so I can take a picture of that. Yeah. So they were probably burning the horses or the ponies manure and stuff for fuel. Or huh? they used the, the blubber from the seals. Yeah, that's, yeah. This is a, a stove. Yeah. This is the killing axe, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Gosh, and it's still on there. Yep. You see the bits of feather and it's the blubber stove that's just totally ran off of that. Blubber. Yeah, that's penguin. Had to have been penguin yeah, you can it's see that. Especially meat. <laughs> this right here was like the waste. Oh no, there's meat in there. The blubber. Yep, that's penguin. Whoop, some hairy ass penguin. These are their clothes. I just like the fact that there's so many boxes of biscuits. The, the, they think they were just going to survive on biscuits, and then they were just wheat and flour. They, well, they did a thing where they mashed it up with, um, oh, what do they call Pemmican. it? Pe Pemmican. 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 Yeah. yeah. They mashed it up with meat. With fat and meat. With dried meat and fat. They took lard meat and meat. Yeah. There you go. This is like some kind of stove. It's got some kind of fuel on it. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Like a Primus. <coughs> I like the ones we use at Happy Camper that can use anything to burn. Yeah. Look, the storeroom. Dry storage. Nice little Primus stove right there. That was a Primus stove right there, too. Oh, yeah. Sun beats into those little windows, so it's probably not really good to, for preservation.